dormant demons. I bring this up today, y'all, because I truly believe that by me being vulnerable and sharing my experiences with you and the wisdom that I've gained from my experiences, that it's going to really empower you to have a better future, okay? So there's a lot of younger people out there. When I say younger, I mean younger than me <laughs> that are watching. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Check it out. And make sure you comment. Okay, please let me know that you're here. Thank you so much because it means so much to me. You're worth it. Okay, you're the reason why I do everything I do. Okay, so I've had dormant demons and you know, it's just it's <sighs> It's laughable to me that it took me this long to get to where I'm at and in a, in a sense, but at the same time, you know, I know, I know why it took me, because I'm so prideful, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm just like everybody else, it, living off of the, the past, basically. Like, yeah, I forgave my dad for what he did, and I forgave everybody, I forgave myself, but, but there's like these trigger moments, you know, there's triggers that happen, and and then on top of everything else, you know, you're sleeping outside and things happen to you when you sleep outside and um, And so now now the big thing is is that I'm not living off the past like 20 years ago now I'm living off of uh, The past like yesterday basically like I'll give you an example. So <laughs> Okay, so yesterday I was walking down the street, I'm here in Rancho Cucamonga, and I'm walking, well actually I wasn't walking down the street, technically I was walking through the mall, it's an outdoor mall, right? The, the biggest mall. So um, I was walking and I was pretty happy up, up until I got to the point where I got to the spot where I want to charge my stuff, right? Because you know, a lot of times you get yelled at or they said you can't do that and then they lock it up and you're like shit how am I gonna charge my stuff and do my YouTube channel so anyway I was I was getting kind of nervous and okay so guess what my fears happened somebody approached me and and um, I had my headphones on you know but the guy gets down because uh, I was like you know down squatting down to plug in right and uh, it's a very vulnerable moment for me obviously right and, uh, you know, because I don't want to get yelled at, I don't want to get thrown out of the outdoors mall, <laughs> right? Seriously. Okay, so you can't come here anymore, people, have to, you know. So anyway, um, so this guy is, is crouched down, and I took my headphones off, I said, what's the problem? And actually, I, I probably said it like this, what's the problem, you know, kind of, <laughs> you know, I, I know I can have a pretty... Uh, rough tone of voice sometimes. No, I didn't yell at him. Like, What's the problem? You know what I mean? And um, he was like, "What? What? No, I just, I just wanted to give you a compliment." And I was like, "What? R what?" <laughs> and he was like, "You know, a compliment. I wanted to say something nice. I wanted to say that you're gorgeous." <laughs> and I was like, "Huh? You're gorgeous?" Like, I'm like, "Wow, really?" You, you wanted to say that? That's what you came over here for? Yeah. Come on. You want to sell me that? Like he had, he had something in his hand, like, and he was holding it, like, kind of. <laughs> you want to sell me that, don't you? And, <laughs> and I said, that's that's a pretty good way to start a sale, you know. And I didn't say that. I wish I had, but, <laughs> but um, <laughs> but no. Um, it's just because I told them. I was like. This doesn't happen to me, you know. People don't just approach me out of nowhere and be like, "Hey, you're gorgeous," you know. But um, he was like, "You sound kind of aggressive." <laughs> so I thank God that happened. Uh, I mean, it didn't go anywhere, you know. I I didn't give him my number. He asked for it and everything, but um, I don't want to get into all that. But the point is that I have dormant demons, you know. And now I have a new demon because my new demon is that somebody's gonna kick me out of a store. They're gonna tell me I can't do something. They're gonna tell me that I'm um, making their life uncomfortable, you know, because they 
Oh, well, they see me sleeping outside, but they do nothing to help me. They don't comment on my YouTube channel, <laughs> you know. But but anyway, it's just yeah. So I have these dormant demons, and um, so every day I'm, you know, I'm fighting these demons. Like, um, may the force be with you, okay? Because because I know, because the force is strong with this one right here. Believe me, I don't give up. You know, and I'm gonna slay these demons. And I I had to put this out here. I just had to say this. You know, any problems that you have is because of you. You know, don't take it personal. Like I said, if you you need to uh, either read or listen on the audio, like I listened to this book. Um, it's called The Four Agreements. It is amazing, and I'll even link the Audible link below for you. I'm not trying to sell it. It's just an amazing book. Um, but nothing is personal and that's the biggest problem that's the biggest demon is that everybody thinks everything is about them and they you know so i was thinking oh somebody's gonna try to stop me right now and guess what somebody did talk to me and they and but that was based on the past and i he wasn't trying to stop me he wasn't he was trying to give me a compliment he did give me a compliment so you see good things can happen um but you know more good things happen when you you're in a good mood and a good uh, mental m mental state when you're not uh, when you're casting off your demons, so to speak. When your when your demons are when you're not allowing your demons to rule you, you need to rule your demons. You know, you need to just remember, like, hey, like today's Sunday. This happened Saturday, so I could say, hey, today's Sunday. It's not Saturday, you know. I could say this is 2020. This is not 2015 when I first started sleeping outside. And I know I see my progress. I'm a great speaker now, even with all these people standing around watching me, not giving me money, and not uh, not subscribing and commenting, you know. So I'm. I never would have. I would have just got up, grabbed my stuff, and left, ran away. I mean, but you know, if I keep running away from my demons, guess what? They're gonna, they're, not only are they not gonna disappear, but guess what? They're gonna get stronger. If you don't fight your demons now, and it's here, it's mental, you know? And if you don't, if you don't come face to face and confront them and be open about it, I'm just saying this for me, nobody may even watch this, but I need to get this out there, you know? Cause if you don't deal with your shit right now, not only are your demons not gonna go away, they're gonna get worse. So that's what happened to me. My de my dormant demons got worse, like they're like they're on steroids or something. You know, they're doing push-ups and shit, and they're fucking working out every day. But now I got control of them because now I do the push-ups. I work out every day. Literally, exercise has changed my life. You know, and it makes me feel more in control. But you know, it's a mental thing. That's why I'm training for my marathon, because it's a mental marathon. I'm getting rid of my demons for good. So, anyway, I just wanted to let you know that you need to deal with your shit now. And uh, I'm dealing with mine. And thank you for letting me say this. Thank you for listening. And I may get some shit in the comments, but, you know, we all, you know, I got to deal with that too. You know, hopefully you'll be nice and, and let me know that you watched it. You got something out of it. Uh... You got to deal with your shit now because you can either be you're your worst enemy or you can be your own hero. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be my own hero. And just because I am free and just because I let my light shine, guess what? My very presence is going to automatically liberate others. So thank you for being here. You are free. You are infinite in value. And I love you. Thank you for watching. Please comment. Tell me your name. What's my name, y'all? Liberty justice with my mind and my money and my money on my mind to show you that you can do anything you want to do get rid of your dormant demons too because you are infinite in value thank you and if you got value out of this do me a favor and send me some paypal my paypal link is below you are infinite in value and i appreciate you for even thinking about sending me some of your hard-earned dollars during covid19 thank you